Hey guys, welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and use Daijisho, which is a pretty cool retro gaming front end for Android. So Daijisho itself isn't an emulator, but what it does do is creates a centralized location for all of the emulator apps you already have installed on your Android device. So for example, you could have RetroArch installed on your Android device and maybe PPSSPB or something like that. And rather than having to go to each one of those individual apps to play your games, you can go straight to Daijisho, one central place to play all of your games. In order to install Daijisho, just go to the Google Play Store and type in Daijisho and you're looking for this app here, which is the white square with the two purple triangles. And then click on install. And then once it's installed, click on open and you'll be welcomed with this screen here. So at the moment, Daijisho is like an empty shell, and what we want to do is click on Download Platforms, and you want to select whichever systems you plan on using with Daijisho. So I will show you some examples. So let's try, uh, let's try Arcade FB Neo, maybe Game Boy Advance, maybe Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo. Okay, let's just use those for the meantime. And once you've selected the ones you wanna use, click on Import. And now the artwork for each one of those systems will begin downloading. And if you just scroll across, so this is Arcade, Game Boy Advance, Sega 64, Super Nintendo. The next step is to point Daijisho to your ROM collection or your games collection. So I'm going to assume you already have games installed on your Android device. In order to do that, you need to click on Paths, which is just here. Click on Add More. And now just navigate to whichever folder your games are kept in. So I keep mine in Download and I have a folder called ROMs. So if I go there and I keep all of my Sega Mega Drive games in my folder labeled SMD. Now for this demo, I just have one game in here, which is Aladdin and it's the European version. And now I'll click on use this folder and click allow. And then once you're happy with the folders, just click on sync and then it will begin adding your games. And now if I click on Sega Genesis, you'll see Aladdin and it has the correct box art, which is the European Mega Drive box art. Now, before we continue, I'm just gonna go back. So now we've pointed Daijisho to our games folder. We also need to point Daijisho to the emulator we have installed on our device. And you can do that by clicking the pencil in the bottom corner here. Scroll down until you get to player settings. Now Daijisho has actually already recognized that I have RetroArch with the Genesis Plus GX Core, which is the correct emulator details. Now I cannot stress enough, you need to already have these emulators installed on your device. If you'd like to learn how to install those emulators, I will leave links in the description of this video where you can learn how to install RetroArch and various other things on Android. Once you're happy with that, click on save and you should be good to go. And all you need to do is repeat that process with the remaining systems you have. So remember, you need to point Daijisho to the games and the emulator. Okay, so let's go back to Sega. And in order to play a game, all you need to do is tap the game you wanna play and you'll see this message here, which says killing package processes. To play this item, you need to kill the existing processes. What you wanna do is click on cancel. Now, in order to avoid getting that message each and every time, at the top here, you'll see settings, just, and then go to library, and then scroll down until you get to this section here, which says disable player warnings, and then just enable that. And now go back to your platforms, and now let's try to play the game again. So if we tap Aladdin, and the game will begin loading. So this isn't playing Aladdin within Daijisho, it's actually still using RetroArch. And just to prove it's working, there you go. And if you want to exit the game, you can just swipe up, close RetroArch, and it just takes you back to Daijisho. I'm sure there's a more elegant way of doing it, but that's what works for me. Now, currently the games are shown in a list view. If you click on grid view down here, you'll be able to see all of your games in a nice, pretty grid. Now, obviously I only have one game here, but it will look far more attractive if you have your entire collection here. And let's go back. Now, as you can see at the bottom, you can see the systems that I selected at the beginning when we were first setting Daijisho up. If you want to add more or remove any of these, you can do that by going to settings and then where it says download platforms. And here you'll be able to select new ones and you can just repeat the process we started right at the beginning. Let's cancel that and go back to the main screen. Now, if you want to remove any of these, let's say I want to remove Arcade Final Burn Neo, you just click on the pencil icon next to it, and then down here you'll see Delete, and you can just hit, and then Yes to Delete, and Confirm, and then there we go, it's vanished. One more thing I want to show you is the widgets screen here, and currently it's empty, so if you click on New Widget, you'll see extra little things you can add. 
Now, one of my favorite things here is retro achievements. So if you click on that, you'll notice a retro achievement screen up here. If you'd like to learn more about retro achievements, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, if you kind of long press retro achievements and go to edit credentials, you can type in your retro achievements login details there and press save. And once you've successfully logged in, you will see a list of all of your achievements and games on this screen here. Anyway, that's a kind of a quick whistle stop tour of Daijisho. I hope you found this video useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.